What's going on disc golfers? Jared aka Spades back here with another video. Now today it's going to be the first video posted on my channel besides my little welcome and it's going to be my first disc review. What are we going to be reviewing you ask? Today it's going to be the Wild Discs prototype Tasmanian Devil. Now the numbers for the prototype right now are a 9402.5. The purpose of this video is going to be to show how the TAS flies, not only to give it a more proper rating number to see if it's off a little bit or if it's spot on, but also to educate you guys on how the disc flies in case you want to go pick one up yourself. Let's get into it. All right, so first things first, before we get into the field, what we're going to do is we're going to review what the disc looks and feels like a little bit. So it is like a medium gummy disc. It's not overly gummy like, say, G-Star plastic, but it's also not incredibly stiff like a lot of other plastics are or a lot of other overstable fairway drivers. Um, as far as the rim here, let's see if we can get a better up-close view of it. Uh, the rim does look a lot like a Firebird. Camera's not really focusing really well, but the rim is very rounded, so it's definitely an overstable flight coming. And you've got a little bit of a bump up here on the flight plate, which I kind of like. That's something that not a whole lot of discs have at this exact speed and glide and all those numbers. So I'm looking forward to throwing it in the field. Um, feels great in the hand. I gotta say, if you've never checked out the Wild Disc Plastic, head on over to the site and pick up a disc. It's some fantastic plastic. I've thrown just about every single type of plastic in disc golf in the past year, and Wild Disc has gotta be one of my top ones. Um, I've showed you enough about the disc. Let's go see how it flies. All right, let's get to the field work. So this is gonna be a straight shot out of my hand here. And as you can see, hold straight for just a little bit and then turns out. This one went about 275. Nice, reliable fade there. This one's going to be a straight hyzer shot. And this didn't go far, but it held hyzer the whole way. Basically, I wanted to prove about 250 there. Now, this one is a low-driven forced turnover. And as you can see, it comes back quick. Exactly what you want out of an overstable fairway driver. This one right here is going to be a thumber, something I feel I can do pretty good at. And as you can see, it's a big rip. This one goes about 300. Now, the sun is making things a little bit harder to see here. This video, Tomahawk, same type of throw, just a little bit of a different grip. But yeah, sorry about the sun angle, guys. Couldn't really do much there. Couldn't really get the disc to pop up on camera. This is going to be the long forced max line. And you can't really see it with the sun. However, it went about 300 feet, so about as far as the thumber. Not a bad shot. Now we're going to get to the forehands here. So the forehand here is a little wobbly out of my hand, but it goes up high, flat, and fades back hard. Just what you want. This one right here, it's going to be a forced turnover forehand. And it holds the line for a lot longer than I expected on that one. Must have put a little extra spin than normal on that. And here we get to something I wasn't expecting. It's going to be a beautiful thumber. It's going to go up high, turn over flat, hit the ground, skip, and it almost goes in. As you can see, I'm super excited. But yeah, that's it for the field work. All right, there we go. That was the field work right there. Um, I had to say it was a little more overstable than I was expecting. I've thrown it a few times so far, but I kind of saved my initial reactions for this video. Um, definitely could be a good like little, if you want to force turn over something, I think it gets some good distance on that, but definitely a strong, reliable fade. Um, 9402.5, if I have to give my official rating, I'm going to say 9403.5. I think it is more overstable than a Firebird, and I think that you can definitely rely on this to turn back, and if you do want any turnover whatsoever, you're going to have to put either a massive amount of power on it, or you're going to have to force it over. But it's good for both of those things. If you want to pick up this Wild Disc, new prototype Tasmanian Devil, or any other Wild Discs, we have the Hummingbird, which is a putter, the Attics, which is a mid-range, and the Orca, which is a distance driver. Go to WildDisc.com, pick one up for yourself, and do me a favor, use code box 15 for 10 percent off on your order it's a great deal um thank you guys for watching so much if you want to drop a like or subscribe i would appreciate that a lot um yeah i will see you guys in the next video peace out